Welcome back to Factoria. We're having issues with everything. So, mainly the supply of resources, throughput, and all that. But, we've just secured a whole new section of the map. And with this, we will be able to get more resources. That's kind of the whole idea here. And so, we need to set up an entire system here to process those resources. Currently, we have these smelters over here, which are not doing a huge amount of anything because of the tiny, tiny amount of ores that we're getting to these locations, comparatively. We've got this smelting array up here, which is doing okay. It's making some stuff going. For whatever reason, I guess I guess the speed modules cover up some of the furnace, so it doesn't look like they're going quite as well. But they're definitely going. Making our steel and iron and more iron, copper. But not enough copper on the last belt here, which is part of the problem. This uses just regular old electric furnaces. Nothing super fancy. But I think we can do better. I think we can do better. So what we're gonna do is go and get some supplies. I'm thinking perhaps stack inserters. I'm not sure if that's really gonna be necessary. But let's get many hundreds of stack inserters. Let's make a request for all electric furnaces. Yes, many electric furnaces. And let's also get out, for the first time, some beacons. Could be interesting. And then, I think we also grab less of those right now. We're going to need faster belts. Yes, many express belts. We're going to need not quite as many medium poles. I mean, I guess we will need quite as many medium poles. And we're going to want speed modules. Probably just the regular ones for now, since those are the ones we have giant, massive piles of. We're going to need we're gonna need a lot of speed modules. On the way, 50, 142. This is also going to be using up a lot of resources all this year. Here's some speed modules. Suck all these up. Oh yeah, we're gonna put we're, we're putting these in everything. It's gonna be great. Okay, over this way is the direction we're gonna be going in here. We need to figure out exactly or a somewhat reasonable estimation of how much we can get pumping through as far as ores is concerned. How long does this need to be? Because that's going to determine a lot about what we're doing here. I think we're just going to keep this as the size of the current base. This iron here is still making more steel. That's good. So kind of, we could always fill in this lake here, that'd be fine. I think we just start in this general vicinity. At the end of the smelting lines, get over here, and then they can go where they need to. At some rate, at least. That basically means, let's get rid of this forest.
That's gonna take a while. And we'll extend it out here. That's about right. We extended out the Roboports network. We could perhaps get some more of this happening. It will need power though. And it's power for you. There we go. Yeah, technically that's not all of it though. We can still go further. They are definitely grabbing stuff now. Clear this out. At least some <laughs> They're all trying to charge. Two thousand construction bots come over here to help clean this out, or at least try to. Request a few robot ports here. Would be nice. Oh, the, they're just filling up with robots that need to charge. Oh boy! And more just keep coming. This is. There's definitely a process here, currently. <laughs> Check the map here. They're going into the green section, but not further. We definitely do need to go further than this. This still need to be connected, though. Power for you. Yeah, all, all the robots are coming here and need to charge and... Hmm. Yeah. We've created quite the bottleneck for ourselves here, haven't we? Well, <laughs> that will that will deal with itself, mostly. Are the road ports coming? On the way, 10. They are somewhere. Got it. We can make our own. It's hard to tell where they are in this giant swarm. They're definitely here somewhere. Oh, they're slowly trying to get back to here, too. That's the only way it's going here. We need to get slightly further out. Here, some of the robots made it. Let's continue further this way. And our robots are slightly more... I'm ready for action. Since they can charge with us instead of having to wait around. Let's grab the ones on the outside here that nobody else is going to come and get. Probably the best way to do things here. I said there was also some rocks in the middle somewhere. Because we got some stone and coal. That's interesting. The rest of this should be in range. So this will get dealt with here. Eventually. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting look. These robots with hundreds of robots around them. Anyways. Let's try send some stuff up here. We have the express belts. Which are going to be going... This way. And then we have the electric furnaces. There's gonna be one ore belt in the middle, and a bunch of the furnaces. And then we have the stack inserters. Ready to just throw as much ore in here as physically possible. We'll have to see exactly how long this needs to be. Because there's only so much ore that can be sent down one bell. 
And between the speed modules and the stack inserters, should be able to get to a pretty good level here. And then on the other side, comes around, and gets out. More stack inserters. Unsurprising. Realistically, fast inserters would probably just be fine, too. But we want to account for all the speed we're also going to be giving this. So, the more we give it, the better here, probably. And at the end, loops in. That is one solid belt at the end. Right. And more on this side. Also does not reach to there. That's okay. I want to make the yes, yes, we do. I want to make these perfectly square. The answer is yes. To be on this side too. Let's go to the next one we can get to, but it's not the same next one. So technically there is some overlap. That's okay. Alright. And then beacons. Transfer the effect mm. modules to nearby friendly entities. Is this entirely necessary? Probably not. Is this hooked up into power? Yes, it is. No modules. I have speed modules. Efficiency 0.5. Number of effect receivers is 3. These guys here. Each of these is going to affect 3 furnaces. So, current speed increased by 20%. There's only two of these. If we were to something like this, each of these is now 60% faster. But we can also take the speed modules, put them in here. And now they are 100% faster. 60% faster from the beacons, plus 40% faster from the speed modules. Now they are literally twice as good as they were before. Wild. So that is the basic idea here. How many twice as fast furnaces do we need? Oh, it's fighting. That's alright. Then we also need to turn on the defense train. I think he's still just chilling. What is he up to? Or what is, what is he up to? Let's see. Defense to defense base 1 2 to defense base 2 2. Those things looking up there. He's coming. This one has everything you can dream of having and plenty of ammo. This one has even more ammo. Still a little bit low. That's fine. Let's set that up for a slightly different path here at some point. This is slowly go to everywhere. Two thousand in here, oh my goodness. As long as it just keeps going places, it's fine for right now. We need more beacons. Yeah, it's finally clear all the trees and stuff. Almost, maybe. Looks like yes. 
essentially. Kind of like this. Cure of all this. All the area where there's tree stumps is definitely, it's definitely a look. It's definitely a look. You. Yeah, that's connected to the power there, so that's all right. Where are we making beacons? They're definitely a more advanced recipe. On the way four. Duh. <laughs> We're not making a lot of beacons. Steel, copper, electronic circuits, and advanced circuits. Probably out here somewhere. This is more advanced things area, essentially. Also, maybe some more speed modules. Thanks. Here comes some things. We're making more. Yeah, we need to get more copper here. That's one of the immediate concerns. Here's the beacon box. He's not getting any electronic circuits. Because all the electronic circuits are getting grabbed by this guy right here. <laughs> okay. Because there's no copper. Alright. Noted. Does it take to make this? Oh, it's making copper wire. It really needs copper wire, huh? Oh, it's not too quick. <laughs> I don't know if we need the beacons. What we need is more copper and iron in here right now. We grab some, I mean, there's not going to be a huge pile of copper wire since there's no copper. Okay. It's the basic idea, though. It's the basic idea. So what we're gonna do is replace some of these, move them down to this side, where they'll be powering these furnaces. Gonna move them all speed modules. We can also upgrade these to even the faster speed modules. Go from 20% to 50%. That'd be even better. Let's get a blueprint of this part right here. Create that blueprint. We can then create more layers of all this. We got like copper, iron, and then we we'll just loop it back around twice. Just loop it back around once. Loop it back around somehow. Make an iron that becomes steel. Okay, how did we go on? I if we put it right there, it's gonna be. Do like this. Get some apples out of the way. Guess we're making it longer. It's very, very timeable. It's kind of the idea. Kind of something like all that. So up here at this one, we have it's coming in. Now we're out of that. Kind of do need the robot boards coming out this way. Then keep bringing us stuff. <laughs> That's a good thought. <laughs> Let's 
doing stuff. It's not gonna get any of the beacons. That's the problem here. No power. Where's the power going? There's just no power at the end of these. Just the blueprint doesn't have that. At the very end one. Another thing to consider if we want to slightly change up the blueprint here, I guess. For the most part. For the most part. Let's bring more stuff in. I kind of just need to go and get more belts for ourselves here. Since all the other ones are too busy constructing. There is just nothing getting down here. Copper is just completely dead. Again, probably mostly because of what we're doing here. Using up even more of the resources and stuff. This bomb. Bring in belts, places. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no. Here we go, let's be on. Yeah, we got, we got the right amount. We got the whole thing telling it to keep us having that many, so. We should have the right amount. This is neat, eh? Alright, there's still. Light is gonna be the copper. That's not the right one. And this can be an iron. Here. And then this will be iron. But then it loops back. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? I also need the beacons up here still. I was going to kind of get this in the box here, I guess. Alright. I was asking for beacons. Basically. So overall, it should be pretty quick. Iron. Copper. At least something working here. So this is where the ore is going to eventually get to. But right now we need where the ore is actually going to be coming from. As we go a bit further this way. This I'll line up for the steel here. Okay. So this is at least something. 
Will it be enough? I'm not sure. I saw this lane line here as the train going across that. Hmm. Kind of want to avoid that anymore. We're going to have the separate train network in the middle here. Let us cut this off, essentially. We'll be safer that way. Kinda. Eventually it's going to continue circling around even further. I think we're gonna set it up for the all around the world. But what we need is trains in the middle here. Kinda need to get an actual train network set up. But right now we're still just kinda in the desperately need more resources right now phase. So actually setting up an actual network here is kinda not gonna happen right now. Let's just get this going back this way. I wasn't really good used to go about right like that way. So start just heading up. 600 more rails here, that should be fine. This will avoid crossing paths here for right now. Just simplify things for at least a little bit here. We got iron here, copper here. Another thing we need to consider is what sizes of trains we want to use. Because we're trying to use a lot of ore up. So getting the ore in as quickly as possible would be a great thing to do here. Here it is. Right here. We're going to have enough? <laughs> Looks like it. Just loop it right across here. Plug that in over there. We're gonna take out the previous track. Probably wanna go to place where the signals already are, so we need to mess with that. Let's see if this way of doing things here. There we go. Well, that should be a full line that goes over there. Yeah, full way all the way around. I have to do it like that. To see if it's working is if the train is working correctly here. It's waiting. It's going. Okay. So it should still be able to get to where it needs to be. Basically. Grab up the rest of this rail. Grab up the rest of this rail. This thing just takes all the rail up. It's different trees and stuff. Just the roads picking stuff up is also pretty nice. They're pretty good at it. Some of these signals we're really not using at this stage. That's okay. And all these. And all these. And all these. And all these. Now this doesn't need to be a junction anymore. Take all that. A bit of water there. Okay. 
Well, this is going a bunch of places. This is still called Defense 2 2, huh? That's the only Defense 2 there is. Could rename that. We'll worry about that later, though. Let's get this just going everywhere. Defense, defense, defense. Goes to defense base, and then 1 2. And then Anastation. Defense base, weight condition. Time pass 30 seconds. This was an idea. 1 2, and then back to base, then 2 2. Back to base for 30 seconds. And then go to 3. Wait for inactivity. Go to base for 30 seconds. Go to 4. So then activity. Go to base for 30 seconds. Go to 5. Activity. Back to base. 30 seconds. 6. Activity. Base. 30 seconds. 7. It's a lot of this. <laughs> Base. 30 seconds. And then to 8. Inactivity. And then back to base. So, in general, that should get it oof, everything to everywhere it needs to be. Eventually. Is it going to 1, 2, and also 1? Those are two different things we need to worry about here. Defense. Goes to 1, 2, and then 2, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, need it to still go to 1 here. So defense base. 3 seconds. Then go to 1. To the activity. So that should get everything everywhere it needs to be. Essentially. Okay. We got trains. We have the ability to make cargo wagons. Let's make some cargo wagons. I'm thinking possibly larger. But we'll see. If we're gonna be having lots and lots of stacks of these all around here, maybe even multiple layers. I think we want the trains unloading like here. Maybe. Easier said than done, though. Check our recipe book here. We do have train unloading stations. They're kind of backwards. This gets those ones, at least. We'll place down these, I guess. The problem with this is this is a smaller train. We're still close enough. I think we're probably still fine with that, though. So let's just get this going here. Just multiple of these that lined up. Let me place this twice here. Anyway, right. Weird. This only makes red belts worth of things. Which potentially couldn't, might not be, like, enough, exactly. We will see. We will see. Power. It's using regular belt. There's a lot to be said about this setup here. We're out of medium speed belt. It's possible we just need to have two of these hook into this. These are definitely 
I mean, express transfer belt's not quite as fast as two of these. It could be just, I think it's one and a half, realistically. So we get three of these, we'll move into two belts, or two to one would be fine for now. Essentially. <laughs> These are powerful from these, these are powerful from here. What are we doing on other things we need here? We need a lot of regular belts and tons of things, essentially. And so all the beacons. But that is, that's another thing. That's another thing entirely. We also need to get the rocket fuel over here. That's gonna be a whole separate thing. It needs to happen though, if we want to have trains over there. They need to be fueled, obviously. Let us, Get back into base here. Get supplies coming in. Typically we've said we don't want any regular belts. No, we need a bunch. It's kind of a whole separate business here. There's a bunch of stuff trying to come to us. Typically we could probably get away with doing faster belts all the way out there. Not quite that many. Although, potentially quite that many. I don't need this many furnaces right now. We're kind of past the furnace building portion of the system here. We got more electric poles, it's good. Way more fast belts. I think we're also looking for slow undergrounds or something. Not really necessary. Let's upgrade everything there. So we had a train here. So there should be a, here it is. A, Fast transport belt of this right here. So we will so we just go straight over this way. That'd be fine. Go around some stuff. Overall, should be alright. Okay. Rocket fuel. We're coming this way. Around here. All the way over this way. And we have set it to be downward. I don't know if that's the best plan. Because we kind of want this to be a full, full thing here. Because of the way the, I mean, is it? We don't have radar coverage there. Uh, we could just, just slam the rocket fuel through the middle here. We know that the underground system totally works for getting stuff through here. All right, rocket fuel. You are coming. Underground. 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 <laughs> Lovely that there's space to go in there like that. Really does, really does work out. Okay, so this is definitely, this is definitely backwards. We can work with that. I can still go. Rocket fuel. 
split off. Go here. I could do it split off on the other side. Split off on this side and go here. You have radars on us? Yes, we do. There are radars here. There's radars for this, not for the other stuff. Okay. We're still just waiting for way, 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 way more beacons. This is an idea that could work. So, for simplicity's sake, we've got one, two, three, four copper mines here. We kind of just set this up right now to just do yes, copper mines. But we don't have enough, we don't really have enough. Uh, the question is, do we have enough? We'll start with setting up two copper mines, which themselves combine into one blue belt, more or less, and head in here. That's more forest in the way. <laughs> The question is, will this be enough? Still not quite. <laughs> Almost. I just need to get copper trains coming in. Do we have miners? I don't think we do. We're gonna need some of those. We're gonna need some of those. If we're gonna be mining up a bunch of copper. Let's get in here. Request. Mining drills. How many? Yes. Oh, those are burner mining drills. <laughs> no, that's not actually what we want. We want. We want the good stuff. Electric mining drills. For varying definitions of the good stuff. <laughs> Still making, not making any beacons. Because we need more copper. Obviously. Obviously. 296. Mine and drills are on the way. There they are. Let's go. Get a mining setup going. Since so we just have the first two setup going in. We just do two here. Ultimately, we could balance all of the coming in ores to get the most out of them all. This is going to be copper base three. This one is copper base. Four. Very, very engaging naming conventions here. So right appears to be four. Kind of go up a bit. Many more rail here too. Maybe we'll grab that. <laughs> Try to not cross any streams here. 
until we actually get an actual network trains going here. Also, all there is oil in the middle area here, so that's gonna be a whole separate situation. Right next to this other train. A great spot where we could use the same tracks to go to multiple locations. It's a continuing issue that we keep on putting off till later. <laughs> it's a system. It's a problem. <laughs> There's the oil field. Right, now we need the one train bringing it in box here. There we go. So here we got this basically. Red tree in the way. Don't care. Get it right Okay. I guess the next question is, put the engine on either side here. Train station. Need more train stops. Nope. Put it here. It doesn't line up, so it needs to be on this side then. Right. It doesn't matter which way this goes actually. We just got just wait around there. Waiting to get some of that. Explosives. <laughs> Life explosives. Works. Right. Then this. Goes back around. Goes back on. This is. Right here. This is. Copper. Outpost. It's even connected up directly to Copper Base 3, which is also nice. There's no power for here, though. Weird. Okay. Next, we need mining. Get up to where it needs to be. Two. Looks alright. Then a little more down. Not covering the whole thing here. More or less. Probably. Treat the way. But definitely. Miners all across it. Nothing down here further. This side looks good. I say it looks good. What we got? Four, five, six planes here. As long as it lines up. And you go here, and you go here. That just needs power.
you. Here, here. Maybe it's gonna sit here. Alright, so this is mine and copper. Just how you want it. We got train. We got cargo wagon. Cargo wagon. Yeah, station. Not connected? Why are you not connected? Air yeah, station. Copper outpost three. Wing condition. Cargo. Air station. Copper base three. Condition. Empty cargo. Also needs some fuel here. Obviously. Fuel. We'll give it. Better rocket fuel. That should be right. This is a hero don't have power. Everybody else has power? Everybody else has power. Automatic mode. Okay. So this is filling up beautifully. It's full. There's no path for some reason. Manual. Because the robots did not finish the track. Eh, that'd probably do it. <laughs> Let's see if it will go to our base three now. Is it automatic mode? Okay. Here we are. Now it's taking the copper out. The copper is going in here. The copper is getting stuck here immediately because this is not underground. That's not good. Not a problem anywhere else here. No, did underground here fine. This is not underground though. That's not gonna work. It's back around here. All right, now this is gonna get rocket fuel here too. Really? Now this is not underground, so that's not gonna work. These undergrounds just aren't quite going where anything they need to go here. Yeah, so this is just a fast belt worth of ore. Let's see what happens when it gets down here. How quickly is twice as quick as normal? Should be pretty quick. Should be pretty quick. Grabs a bunch of it, grabs a bunch of it. And you're getting put out. Stack and serves are definitely unnecessary. That's for sure. They're taking what they want. Eventually it gets lined up here. A few more is going to be half full on both sides, so I'll be fine. So I definitely don't think it needs to be this long. This is, I mean, this is also with only two-thirds supply, though, so... It's okay. We need, need to get this in soon. Let's see where we got. This is where we could add more copper. We just like right down through here. Get back to the uranium and then do our best. Fast line. You just place a. They totally did. They just placed a beacon there. <laughs> Lovely. We'll see if a lot of this is kind of unnecessary. Let's see what we can do without this. Let's go underneath that. It's fine. Maximum speed. Return the copper to the base here. Yeah, 
point of rocket fuel. Slowly but surely coming through. Still trying to not get hit by a train, preferably. This guy. Underground, please. Thanks. <laughs> This is going to be in the way pretty severely. That is not the case yet, so. It's all right. Kind of like right down here. One of the better ways to go. Really, like right here. Get this into something. Undergrounds going this way. And that gets us to here. Undergrounds are great. It's really nice. It's a good time. <laughs> Over one here. here and this can go into here the cup is coming from there the cup is coming from there let's get in here essentially it's definitely a bit more copper it feels super full though since this side's full More on that side, more on this side. Mm. More. There's more copper now than there was before. That counts for something. Actually, in this perfectly setup, is going to be additional bits. But for the time being, that's at least more copper. in not much cut from here and then I think this is a reasonable pace loop with that loop with that we got another belt of copper coming in here which we totally can we have the technology and that'll be all right so currently that is using up more copper but it is being produced very quickly. Very coolly. <laughs> Currently it's getting to here. That's also just because it's filling up. So that's okay. Currently we are using it up. It's getting going. That's also going to give us a small buffer in there. See how much ore gets through here before the next train gets back. Currently over here. Waiting. Do I have our radar there? Yeah, overall, we got here it's coming. So it's still empty in here. 
And then more ore shows up. So at least for right now this is full enough. This is it's going. Alright. So we're gonna plug in a few more bases here. A few more ore outposts. Like this one. These two. We also have iron here, 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 and here. Got some uranium. Got more oil. Lots of good stuff. We will work with that. Try to step up our available ores here. Copper is now getting to places that it needs to get to. At least a little bit. Still a work in progress. But it is progressing. And we'll continue progressing. Next time. Goodbye.